What's up, everybody? Thank you all so much for tuning in to this live broadcast session of Mikasa Sukasa. And I have a very, very special guest. Uh, many of you already know who he is, but some of you may not know. This is Jimmy Dore of the Jimmy Dore Show and the Aggressive Progressives. What's going on, Jimmy? Thanks for joining us. Hey, my pleasure. Great to be here. Thanks for having me. Oh, thank you, man. Um, so I went on your show, uh, not even, well, actually, I guess it was a while ago, about four months ago. And um, I really enjoyed it. Thank you for having me on. We talked about some good stuff. So I just wanted to publicly thank you for that. Um, and basically, I wanted to bring you on to get your feel about first the the presidential primary candidates thus far. And what do you think about the messages that you've seen? And how do you feel like the field is shaping out? Who Who do you like right now? Well, I like, uh, I, I think an unbeatable ticket is Tulsi Gabbard, Bernie Sanders is an unbeatable ticket. And the reason why is because they do that thing that they claim that the corporatists and the neoliberals like Hillary Clinton claim that you have to do to win elections. They actually appeal to people other than people on the left wing. Mm -hmm. So that's the whole thing. Like, oh, we got to move to the center. Well, it turns out they actually appealed to people. Uh, on the right by not moving to the center, by Tulsi Gabbard standing up against the military industrial complex and not taking corporate money. The same thing with Bernie Sanders, not taking mm -hmm. corporate money and uh, that they've actually attracted people on the right uh, because they feel they can trust them and they're honest. And it also helps that Tulsi is a two tour veteran from Iraq. So she's she's got the bona fides to stand up against the military industrial complex and in her announcement for president, she actually said that. Yeah. She, she named the military. You'd never hear a politician do that. Mm -hmm. So, again, now Bernie is not above criticism. He's got, you know, some, he, he's got flaws. Great men have great flaws. Same thing with Tulsi. She's not above criticism. Nobody's above criticism. But right now, I'm going to say the, the person, the, the ticket that's the best to beat uh, Trump and to make a big difference once they get there would be Tulsi and Bernie. Yeah, and I would agree. I think that um, there, I feel like any uh, any other combination is actually a guaranteed loss. There's this idea floated around that uh, Elizabeth Warren is a is a good chance has a good chance to beat Trump. I just don't believe that. Uh, um, you know what? I'm again. I'm not. Uh, as far as Elizabeth Warren, I, I she has a lot of work to do. Put it that way to overcome how she let Trump bait her into that uh, <laughs> into, yeah. into taking that time. I mean that. She's already apologized for it. it that, that was just, the, you know, that I guess maybe she saw because Barack Obama finally, after years of Trump hounding him, released his long form birth certificate. Uh, it didn't really make a difference. They just moved on to something. I want to see his college record. So they, you would think she would learn from that, that that didn't really, that, that that was all show. Thanks for watching that segment of Mikasa Sukasa. You can donate to our Patreon and keep helping the network grow by clicking on the link in the description below. And also make sure you join us at justinform.com. And finally, make sure you subscribe to us on Roku and be part of the very first independent news network on Roku TV. But more than anything else, always remember. Find your balance. Peace.